podcast i'm thunder i'm lightning uh i gotta start in the intro referring to this as the thunder and lightning podcast and not the thunder and lightning gaming podcast because i did that last episode and i like confused the hell out of myself i was okay. like wait is it the gaming podcast? <laughs> it's not the it can't be just one word different right <laughs> so i have no to, I, I get that yeah um yeah yeah uh chris yes how was your week? It, it feels like we kind of spent all week together. But, uh, not but, uh, only not only did we spend all week together, I feel like it's only been a few days since we recorded the last one of this. No, it was it was a week ago. It was a week ago. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I've been my schedule's been all fucked up because you came over Thursday, which is something you usually do Sunday. Right. That's today. Right. On top of that, we had D and D on Tuesday. We did, which is something we usually have on Saturday. Correct. Which means I was getting ready for D and D on Monday, something I usually do on Friday. Right. And on top of that, Brianna White streamed that Monday, which is something she usually does on Friday. <laughs> so I'm like all over the place. And today's Tuesday. And today, no, shut <laughs> up, no. Today is Sunday when we're <laughs> when we're recording this. It's going up on Friday. <laughs> um, qu- you, the question you asked me was how, how was, was my your week? week? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, my week was good. I'm trying to think of highlights. A uh, lot of st- I I worked on a lot of things that I am not privy to talk about in my life yet. Got it. Uh, yeah, you're still not talking about that one thing that you were showing me, right? That you bought a program for, or were you talking about that? I talked about that last week. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we talked. We talked about how I'm writing a few pieces, uh, contemplating putting a musical together. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I I took a little break from that this week. Uh, I'm I'm stuck on one part in the prologue. Okay. That I'm still trying to to write. That'll uh, happen. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I really want to show uh, you what I got. But we have to be at my computer for that. Right. So we'll figure that out. Yeah. Um, besides that, yeah, a lot of things can't really talk about right now. Me and Pauline uh, spent a good day working on the book. Nice. Almost done with chapter six. Nice. Then two more chapters. Give it to you. Emery, if he's listening, <laughs> has not gotten back to us about uh we gave him the book like two months ago what a chump <laughs> something tells me he's bad at remembering things <laughs> that's okay we're, well, we're he's definitely i'm sure you won't mind me saying this he's definitely bad at texting people back yes yes maybe he already read it and he just has has not yeah text us what he thought um <laughs> But we'll see him soon enough. Oh Probably yeah, probably yeah. sooner than later. We, yeah, we might want to think about that. Yeah, I was actually just thinking about that last night. I'll probably text him sometime in the next couple of days. Yeah, do you hear me, Doctor Payne? <laughs> you're gonna you're going to receive a text message. <laughs> you probably already have by the time <laughs> this podcast comes out. True. Yes. Yeah. Um, D and D was a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying oh, the campaign you. we're playing for the first time ever. I wrote too much, and we had to stop early, yeah. which is totally fine. Yeah. Um, but I, I felt a little, like, I wasn't proud, obviously, but I felt like, okay. Like, I've never had to do this before. Um, I usually try to write uh, a session. Just to long like, enough. Yeah, so it can be, like, start and finish before yeah. we get to the next one. So That's next okay. time we meet up, we'll probably it'll probably be a little shorter. Yeah. And, you know. I. Uh, but what do you think? I, I thought it was fun. I really like... Uh, I like the setup, so yeah, we're, we're spending we're a four days on a on a boat. Essentially, a pirate ship. A pirate ship, uh, and you had a fun thing for us to do. We're we're midway through the the uh, cruise. Yeah, <laughs> um, and so we're on uh, day three coming up, mm. I believe. But uh, you you had fun activities each day. Yeah, and I essentially wanted to do. A famous pirate thing. Yeah. Each each section. Yeah. So I did. I pulled out some liars dice. We did some normal gambling. We went treasure hunting. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna fight a kraken. That's not a spoiler. That, that was the setup for the right. campaign. 
We did fight a shark that I did beefed fight up. a shark. I beefed up quite a bit, gave him some cool abilities, and I didn't know this was actually really cool because there's no way I could have uh, prognosticated this. Uh, everyone leveled up, and when we did level up, Cheryl, uh, your mother, our cleric, yeah, um, she got blink, yeah, and I may I have a shark that they were fighting this session that I gave blink. And I had no idea that I was setting it up like that, but it made for some cool, like, now they're fighting in the other realm stuff. Yeah. Which no, that was, was pretty neat. That was really cool. Because for those of you who don't know, when you blink in D&D, it's essentially what Doctor Strange does in his movie, where he's, like, in two realms or whatever. Um, so that was cool. Yeah. Um, she was like, she set up an AoE attack that would have, hurt all of you but it was in the ethereal yeah, that, realm. Yeah, that was really realm. cool. That was that was smart. Yeah. Um Yeah, a lot of uh, we're we're really pulling the teamwork together. Yeah. And uh I'm really liking it. Um uh, random question. Sure. <laughs> About D&D? Yeah. Okay. Would you ever be opposed to a new addition to the group because I know our group used to be bigger and mm. I feel like maybe I've asked you this before and I apologize if I have. Oh, that was the, the end of the, the question. The end. Um, yeah, I mean, probably. Probably where, you would be opposed to somebody new or? No, probably I wouldn't be. Oh, okay. Um, that, that was a weird way to answer that. Uh, that's my mistake. <laughs> Pro- probably. Because we... Moving on? We <laughs> no, <laughs> never bring it up again. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about my week. No. Um, <laughs> the, the room kind of just like, all right. Okay. Uh, it was weird, but whatever. Um, God, it doesn't feel like Sunday. Um, I was just thinking about how Lego Masters is in two days, and it doesn't <laughs> seem like it should be. Um, uh because even that happened weird, because I got home from D&D and immediately watched Lego Masters. Anyways, right. um, no, I mean, we're at four right now, myself not included, of course. Uh, we were at five. I feel like we could use a fifth. I, I feel like, the, just, the as, a, just as a player it, aspect, in, in, you know, that's... The way, I'm, the way I see it, a D&D party should be three to five, no more, no less. That's my opinion. Sure. We have another chair at the table, so okay. fuck it. <laughs> yeah, right. Literally, the table we're playing at has, yeah. has one more chair. It can and it's fit sort somebody. of been like a rotating spectator chair for right. whoever's like <laughs> my, my hanging sister out just in the sitting kitchen. there on her phone. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I guess we're her source of entertainment because I was. I love that she sits with oh, us. Oh yeah. But I was looking. I was like, she's just sitting on her phone. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> yeah. she just likes listening. Yeah. It's not like two of us are very good at podcasting, and then two others sitting there are secondary people on that po- <laughs> on that uh, channel that does the podcasting, and a third is a slightly more removed person from that podcast. What are you getting at? I just she maybe should... maybe all of our entertainment levels we we oh, we've all leveled up saying. in entertainment. So I thought you were making a dig at your sister. I thought no, you were no, saying, no. Like, she should listen to the podcast. No, 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 saying, no, no, no. You're saying I'm... because we've been we have a YouTube yeah, channel maybe, for maybe almost we're... two years. Maybe we're <laughs> she's just sitting there enjoying listening to us, even though yeah. we're just playing. Um, and I will say, I I tried to challenge myself to not really write anything when it came to like. I, I, I'm I'm really bad about like writing out entire paragraphs about like all right if they respond like this I'm gonna say all right. this so I kind of just I wrote down the like here's what we're doing this time and then I just sort of left it up to my own yeah devices and well, I feel like I did pretty good I think oh yeah you absolutely did I think I even threw you a curveball because I kind of set up uh my own task yeah in that's, this in that's this why I'm I'm session. happy that I did that because stuff like that should happen more yeah I I there there was a empty room essentially and the players went to that room and my job was to fill it with stuff to interact with yeah and one of the things was a prisoner and then chris spent a good portion of the next four hours trying to uh release that prisoner and then uh was wildly successful yeah um and none of that was part of the campaign until you introduced it that's yeah. my favorite part of D. last time we played a game with a different dm uh, we we started like this whole like long term like relationship between my character and an NPC just because I I did something because right. I was trying to be funny one time and then it blew up into this whole like right. l- and now it's got lore ramifications and all this stuff. yeah so I, I'm glad you appreciated that because I oh, feel yeah. like uh, you know I, 
you're obviously the DM, but like she's someone who could come back later on for yeah. some reason for something. Yeah. Uh, but that's interesting about uh, so a fifth person wouldn't be opposed to because I know some people who might be interested. That's something we can talk about later. Yeah. But Ryan, the guy whose voice you heard singing before you heard yes. our voices, uh, yes. is playing uh, in a campaign. He's nervous. He said oh. that he said we're playing uh, next Friday. So good luck to you, Ryan. He gave me his character. So he today, seems when fun. This, when this podcast, when this podcast, podcast out, comes up, he's playing yeah, today. Good luck, playing Ryan. Right now, probably. Um, but he uh, he also he still wants us to do a session with uh, him his, and his, his family. He, yes, dude. That, his ward and his wife. Does he want to do the Stranger Things campaign? Yeah, I think he still wants to. That I would be down for that. Yeah, I I've been I've been. It should play that Stranger Things stuff. Yeah, and now that COVID's over, and he he's really condensed his work week. Uh, we yeah, could, we could probably set up like a Tuesday session with him or something. That'd be cool. Uh, if you want, make a we can make a Facebook group between the three of us. Sure. Yeah, uh, and you know, if he wants another D and D group that meets up, like I, I'll talk to him. I'll yeah, th- I would love to play. He he seems like he'd be a lot of fun to play D and D with. He just um. He he. The only thing is that because he is a entering fifth member, he's probably like I, I'm probably gonna say like okay, but no cleric or barbarian or paladin. Yeah, he's you a, know he's actually uh, his character is a bard. Oh, that's perfect. He gave me the background. I don't know how much of it. I I love the name. I I I don't think he'd be upset if I gave the name. I just. Yeah. Uh, I I don't want to give too much away because you know he hasn't done this in a while. Right. Yeah. Uh, but I love the name, Baldruck Bronzehead of the Metal Mountain, okay. Dwarven Bard. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Bards are cool. Dwarves are cool. I've never played with someone playing a dwarf. Also, he gave him. Uh, you know how I always like to do little achievements. Like if I if yeah. I achieve this. Uh, my character's arc is done. You essentially set up an opportunity attack for like nine campaigns <laughs> in the future. Uh, I it's just like I, I have I have an arc set. Whenever I make a new character, I'm like, this is what will complete their arc. When their arc's complete, if I feel I'm ready to, I will retire that character yeah. at least for now. He did that. With, oh, cool. with this character, and I was like, "That's that's cool." I do you I think feel like I'm one of the only people who do that. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, do you think that's your influence? I don't know if I've ever talked to him about okay. that. Okay, I I was cool. thinking that. I don't I don't know if I've ever mentioned to him like, you know, I I because when we're sitting down with a new player, sometimes I'll put it out there a little bit, like you know, whenever the question of when is my character done gets brought up, that's right. my answer. Right is uh, whenever you feel their the story wise their arc is over you've done all you can with them right which because it's totally fine to have one of those because I feel like most people don't I for one when I'm playing a character I'm usually like I'll just wait for this arc to be over and then see if I want to do roll someone new you yeah. know yeah yeah um yeah no I I forgot where I was going with that no it's it's cool yeah it's uh. Something you you like doing and something that you always do. And it happened last time we played. You had a character do a thing and then it would uh, did it and then it was done. And oh then yeah, my someone else. my first D and D character ever. Yeah. Then I played a second one who I do want to bring back. Cause yeah. We we switched groups. Right. Um. The 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 interesting part with that is you have to try and pick a goal that's not too hard and not too easy because you. You want to low key. You want to achieve it eventually, right. but it you also don't want to achieve it in two campaigns. Right, exactly. Because you because you paid thirty dollars on your Hero Forge piece. <laughs> well, and you're gonna yeah, get your money's worth. That's just freaks like us who <laughs> even play with pieces. I guess even that's like an oddity. Really? Yeah. I. I it's 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 the the common way to do it is just voice. Boring. Imagination. Who wants to just sit and listen to people? <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of losers <laughs> sitting there listening to people with no visuals. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm uh, yeah, me too. Week, how was it? <laughs> Go. Oh, my week's been fine. Uh, we talked about D and D. Obviously, there's been a lot of E3, and I'm not going to talk about any of that. Uh, listen to our uh, E3 wrap up. 
podcast that will be up next week two days from now. oh duh why wouldn't it be that podcast yeah right um so get a load of that e3's been great so far it's currently sunday so we haven't seen nintendo so if if, if something super hyphy happens and i'm like oh whatever it's because nintendo uh <laughs> that would be time travel <laughs> right uh but um no that's been going good i've been playing a lot of stardew valley in my free time um and yeah, I've just I've just been a lot of editing. I did I did I had, um the newest bopper flop is up. It's about Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, and we 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 teased a little something at the end that I'm looking forward to for next time. Um, I like bopper flop a lot. Um, and yeah. it's uh the more I edit it, the easier it becomes to edit. And it's especially exciting because this time, uh, we didn't have any copyright claims that yes. stopped us from i think japan korea and nepal i think they can't see it because well, of sonic too x bad but other than that it was completely fine which i was shocked by um and i've, I've just been spending my free time with playing stardew valley and uh i'm still on a big smosh kick uh but i've also been reading some comic books but i think i have a I think it's almost time for me to do another, for another update comic book video. That'd be cool. Give me one second. I just want to check. Oh sure. Check my voice, and my voice is there. And okay. Okay. What was going on? I thought I talked, and I didn't see a. Uh, uh, oh, a wave. Yeah, a wave where I thought there should have been, but I'm not no. Uh, I'm not a robot, so uh, yeah, I can't tell perfectly when. <laughs> uh, audio wave is supposed to appear yeah no um just it's it is pride month oh i just thought of something keep going okay. keep going it's pride month uh and you might remember we talked last time about the injustice app and what they tried to do yeah um but dc comics did oh yeah that was this week yeah they did uh they did i actually they drop Tuesday, quote unquote, but that means that they drop Monday at three a.m. Oh yeah. So right. I did in fact read the DC Pride in its entirety the night before D and D. Oh cool. But it was really good. I knew I would like it a, a little. Yeah. Uh, I I knew I would at least like it, but it was it was so good. Um, I'm not gonna talk about it too much because go well, check out my video whenever that comes out. But <laughs> the 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 thing I keep talking about, the one thing I'm the most excited about, is that. Dreamer, who is a trans superhero played by a trans yeah. actress who was uh, introduced in the Supergirl TV show, got an eight-page portion yeah. of the 80-page. You mentioned that on the l the last oh, one. I just I? know because oh, okay. I listened yeah. to it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's really it's, cool. It's written by the woman who, who plays her. Right, right. No, that's super cool. Sorry, my, my, my PlayStation is listening to us. There we go. This well, it, it wants to get the latest on the podcast. This, this button is malfunctioning. It has yeah. since I took it out of the thing, and that's the button that, uh, see? Yep. So that's been <laughs> going weird. Um, no, and I finished Death Metal. Uh, Got to say, I liked, liked Metal more when everything was said and done. I liked Metal a bit more. Death okay. Metal had some cool stuff, but I think Metal had a better story. Um uh, the end, really. What else did I do? I've been trying to potty train a dog. <laughs> uh, that, and, and that's, uh, that's not... That's tough. It's not going... I saw that in action this morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's, that's going as, 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 as well as you'd think it would. Okay. Uh, what were you going to say? You seem like you oh, like, yeah, remember I, you uh, forgot to say something. I did. Um, so me and Pauline... Have uh, we've got a list of a hundred movies that we wanted to watch together that we made like two years ago. Um, we've pretty much rifled through that list because of COVID. Mm. Um, so we started doing TV shows and a show that's very near and dear to me that I love, uh, Futurama. Okay, we just finished. Okay, and she loved it. So Futurama is done, right? Futurama is done. Because it was on and off for like 10 years. It was on and off for a long time. It is done as of now. Whether whether it... I, well, you know what, though? The last season is very conclusive. Okay. I They kind of made it so that it's like, this is... Th there will not be any more. Right. Um, Why are 
cartoon like uh comedy cartoons like that on such weird contracts where like sometimes they end too short sometimes they never end I think it's I think I'm I'm I know they got canceled at least once Yeah they switched networks at least once Okay um, but and now and then they I think there was a fan petition to bring them back I think they had cuz if you watch the show there's clearly two series finales Okay um one is pretty soft like if you we're watching it on Hulu, and you came across that episode, and you knew there was more. You'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. So it's just the, the end of the season. Yeah. But I think there's, like, a soft series ending, and then the one that actually ends it, they're like, okay, hard, done. <laughs> yeah. Um, But she really liked it, so we started Disenchantment. Oh, cool. That she seems to like. There's only three shows by that dude, so I'm going to... Yeah. We're going to do this one, and then we'll see if she's interested in The Simpsons. Well, The Simpsons is... It's different. Yeah, it's a, agreeing to watch uh, The Simpsons or Doctor Who and then agreeing to watch any other show. Oh, oh well, you're just talking about uh, the length. length. Yeah, no kidding. I, I, when Disney Plus first came out, yeah. I challenged myself to watch all of The Simpsons. Yeah, I'm, you were... st- I'm still on it. Oh, okay. And, and I haven't stopped. I've, like, okay. I, I'm in season 20. Oh, wow. Yeah. Quarantine really helped with that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... But uh, and and she's watching Lego Masters. Oh, cool! From season one. Oh, cool! Yeah, season one was good. We can't talk about that. No, we're gonna no no we, no. If I know. We get on that. We'll talk. It's not just you; it's me too. We'll no, talk about that yeah, for for way too long. But uh, yeah, that was that was something cool we did this week. Uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting something, but that just came that just popped into my head. So yeah. I figured I'd mention it. Um, I don't have news. I don't know. The world's got to get more interesting because <laughs> I I have not stumbled across anything newsworthy. Um. Well, the one bit of news that I saw that's even worth bringing up is actually E3 related, but it's not a video game because Netflix had a thing. Yeah. And uh, Netflix, rather than talking about a game, just talked about a bunch of video game based media. So like they talked about Witcher season two and they talked about. So there's a Resident Evil animated movie. And then there's a Resident Evil live action movie right. that are not connected. But there's also a live action Resident Evil TV show that's got a different cast than the movie. Um, <sighs> and that, they just announced a cast list for that. And it was very not white, it was very all over the place, okay. which was pretty interesting. Um, if I showed you, I forget his name, but if I showed you the actor who's playing Wesker, you'd be like, oh, I recognize him. And he's also black. And that's not what Wesker is. So that's pretty cool, I thought. Uh, I don't think there's a trailer yet. I think there's just a cast list. But. They did show off uh, some of the Cuphead TV show. And oh, okay. They got Wayne Brady to voice King Dice. Okay, that's in the, cool. In the game, King Dice is uh he's actually voiced by a woman who's got a deep like singing voice. Uh, but it seems like they they wanted someone more famous for the show. Um, they didn't show a trailer. They just showed a clip, and the clip they showed was kind of weird. Like it wasn't like exciting or okay or and it didn't like. I don't know. It didn't even have Cuphead or Mugman in it. It was just about King Dice. But I think they were trying to... I think they wanted to showcase the big name they got. Yeah. Um, but that was exciting. I didn't watch the Netflix thing. I just heard about it. It's funny. We talked about Wayne Brady last podcast, too. Did we? Oh, yeah, because he, um, cause he won Mass Singer Season 2. Yeah. That's that's why we brought the him The guy up. keeps getting work, and he keeps deserving it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, King Dice is a very, like... King Dice has two songs in Cuphead. Like, he's a singer character. Okay. So that's cool that they got, like, an actor who also likes to sing. And is clearly good enough to win Mass Singer. Right. A show about singing talent. Um, I guess I do have one thing. Okay. It's not really news. It's just touching in on our good pal Gwyneth. Because okay. uh, we haven't, we, we're not going to be, uh, you Doing know. goop this time. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, you have your new segment, right? Yes. Nice. Cool. I'm looking forward to that. But so, what has she got for us today? So I, w- I was reading, and this is a BuzzFeed article, so take it as you will, but uh, just uh, people's interactions with celebrities. And so uh, so this is the, the showcased one for Gwyneth. Okay. Uh, I worked with Gwyneth Paltrow's children for eight weeks at a camp, and we got paid $5 an hour. Oh, my God. Parents usually tip 100 or more at the end, but she didn't tip at all. Oh, Sounds very uh, on the nose. You know, she's selling uh, 
Oh, we talked about that last podcast, too. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Just never mind. I'm sorry. I don't know why this is a recap of last week's podcast. No, I mean, I, I don't. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. We talked about D&D for like 20 minutes. <laughs> um, and that was all definitely new. Um, hit me with that new segment. Sure. How are we doing for time? Cause, uh, 25 minutes. In? Yeah. Oh. You want to do a few of these? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I mean, we could do both. We could do that and goop. We could. Well, let's 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 see how how many we want to do. Yeah, here. So I actually I said three that we were going to do this week oh, on yeah, the on last some. week's you podcast. Had specific ones, right? Yeah. So if we want to do more than cool. those, we can. Yeah, let's do these three, and then we'll see where we're at mentally. Sure. So, lot number one hundred and three: Harry Potter in the Deathly Hallows, Part Two, Two Thousand Eleven. Harry Potter's eyeglasses. Okay, so we did his wand last time, right? We didn't. We haven't done any Harry Potter. Oh, okay. So it's the kids' glasses. It's from. <laughs> it's ha- it's that kids' glasses. Deadly Hallows. Uh, part I, two. You like said, I right? said last time, I would not worry about oh, the right, films. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, so I know for a fact that those glasses don't have actual glass in them. They're just frames. Sounds right. Assuming it's the actual prop, which it seems like it, it is. It better be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, huh. See, yeah, I, I think I was proved wrong last week that my, my assumption was if it's an accessory that they hold, it's going to be more than something they wear. But I see. I think I this week is going to confuse you further with that I, theory. Yeah, I, I I appear to have been proved wrong. Um, I'm going to say for Harry Potter's glasses. Um, plus, no, that shouldn't matter. J- J.K. Rowling's fall from glory shouldn't matter. Oh, for this no, well, product. ooh, you know what? I am going to add a fourth one on. Okay. Because of because of that sentence you just yeah, said. Yeah, I think mean, that shouldn't do anything for this product. I'm going to say it won't. Say I can tell you that. I'm going to say, uh, man, these numbers are all over the They're, fucking place. They are all I'm gonna over the map. I'm going to say 17,000. 17,000. Yeah. For glasses with no glass. Well, when you put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> for your frames <laughs> uh, that are not glasses. Yeah. The estimated. Worn by Daniel Radcliffe. Worn uh, probably a few times <laughs> by Daniel Radcliffe are estimated to go between Thirty and fifty thousand dollars. I thought I was way too high. <laughs> Opening bid is fifteen. Okay. Current bid is twenty five. So people, so people somebody's already bid twenty five thousand for these. Uh, and that's the estimate. The They've already bid the. Oh no, thirty. No no no. Uh, thirty is the estimate. Current yeah. uh, bid is twenty five. Only one bid. So this guy was like, 15, fuck that. Wait, there's only <laughs> one bid. There's only one bid. He jumped at 10,000. <laughs> he didn't even start at 15. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, moving on. Lot 104. Oh, so it's the next the next prop. That would make sense. Mm-hmm. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Okay. 2010, uh, Harry Potter's Wand. So this isn't the... Uh, the I forget what the term is for it in the movie. This isn't... His almost, first wand, right? Yeah, this, a different this one? isn't this isn't um the phoenix feather, right? Wand. Well, what's the one I'm trying to think of? That the uh, elder wand. The elder wand. This isn't the elder wand. This is this is Harry Potter's wand. But this isn't. He gets a new wand, right? This is wand isn't the one he started with with John Hurt, and he's like, "This is your wand. It's blowing air at your face." Uh, do you want to look at it? Will that make a difference to you? No, it won't. It's just a fucking stick, bro. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it looks like if you showed me this and said that's Harry Potter's wand, I'd say, yeah, okay. Um. Okay. So his wand from that film, from part one, which, if I remember, wasn't the best one. You said that doesn't matter, but does not wanted, matter. I wanted a uh, six. We can all agree six was the worst one, right? Um. Um. The I'm Valentine's d- Day sh- one. Oh yeah. Best book, worst film, in my opinion. Prisoner of Azkaban was my favorite. The movies. Yeah. The. I, you know, I'd say four for both. I'd say four was the best book and the best movie. That's Goblet of Fire. Yeah. Goblet of I'd Fire say, was cool. I'd say, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, uh, is the best book to movie adaptation I've ever seen. Wow. 
I think it's really, really good, and I think it stands on its own amidst the <laughs> eight film and uh, about to be like what twelve film franchise with the oh, fantastic tell me beasts about it. shit. So I, this has nothing to do with the books, but to me, the Goblet of Fire always felt like the Beach Day episode. It's because it's a tournament. It's literally right. a tournament arc. Right. That's what I liked about it. I think. No, I'm not saying it's good or me, bad. Me as a child, being a big Pokemon fan, I I got. I started, you know, I started uh, reading four, and I was like, tournament arc. Okay, here we go. And then <laughs> the whole book was a tournament arc. And, but it's a tournament arc that has incredible consequences on the next, on the next four, on the next three books. Right. No, that's like true. Like more, more so than any other book yet, because Voldemort was like dead, and now he's not anymore, and that's a new thing. And the way he announces that is by killing everyone, like in universe, everyone's favorite dude. Right. Anyways, the so the wand? price the price of this wand. I'm going to give you a little hint. Okay. It's less than the amount of words you had to say about Goblet of Fire. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Damn. Uh, <laughs> Roast me. <laughs> um. Th- so yes, your estimate about the estimate. Yeah. So I was clearly off with the glasses. I am going to go back on what I did last time. I'm going to. So this the. Glasses were thirty to fifty, you said, right? Yes. So I'm gonna say for the wand, I'm gonna say twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. Twenty five thousand. Okay. To confuse you further. Oh no. The wand is estimated between thirty and fifty thousand dollars. Oh, that's the same shit. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was closer. Starting. Yeah, you were a lot. You were closer. <laughs> I was literally like, ooh, he's so close. Um. The starting is fifteen. Current bid is twenty thousand with two bids. So okay. somebody must have put the original, and then that guy who's like, "Well, I can't do twenty five on both. What that would these, be ridiculous." What are these people bidding? Like, if they bid fifteen, bid sixteen. What are you doing raising it so much? I think they got money to burn, and they're like, Apparently. "I want the wand." Is this what the mega ri- do the mega mega rich cinephiles just have a house full of official props? I'm not gonna lie, I would. Right? No, I yeah, would. I, yeah. I, I know you would. You're, you're, <laughs> that 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 would that would make sense to me. Uh, don't tell Pauline that. <laughs> um, but if I was mega rich, right? You're okay. also not okay. Part of the. Let's all calm down. <laughs> if I had enough money for it, I would do it. So that was the films. Yeah. Now I now I'm gonna add this extra one on because you mentioned. Uh, she who shall not be named. <laughs> That's um, hilarious that she did that to herself. <laughs> Lot one oh five, Harry Potter franchise, nineteen ninety seven to two thousand seven. JK Rowling signed limited edition hardcover box set. So it's the oh, box so set of the not books. A prop. That no, they sometimes they they've thrown a few of these in here where so it's, it's like it's signed by somebody who did movies. So it's all a eight box movies. set of the b- movies. It's all eight movies. No, 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 I'm sorry, books. Not oh. movies, it's the books. It's all seven books. Yes. That changes things because she, you know, probably executive produced creative writing team on the movie, but right. she's 100% responsible for the books. So that changes things. I will say that her transphobic fall from grace probably has a, a sm- something to do with the, the, the price. Oh, it being, might. <laughs> being not what it used to be. But It's still, still ridiculous. Y- it's still ridiculously the, priced. Yeah, no, I, I'm sure. But here's the other thing you have to, even if her even if her uh, signature was worthless, you're still paying for eight books. Uh, it's so, going to be more than that. No, no, no. I know, I know, I know. I will say, uh, I will take this time to say something. I did finish the auction. I, w- I went through everything. I got a few more items. The prices at the uh, later half drop significantly. Oh, okay. They Less put the expensive items. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Everything I saw, nothing was under twelve hundred, and then, and then twelve hundred you... started becoming like the higher price got for some. It. This is not one of those. Though. Right, right, right. This is still the first batch. Yeah. So, taking into consideration that the. Props from the movies were thirty to fifty. Also, not signed by anybody. Right, right. I'm gonna assume that this Sans signature would obviously be way less. But now that it has a signature of, and it a looks like every is... book is signed. Oh, so you're really paying for seven signatures of the same shithead. Um, <laughs> plus the box set. Plus the yeah. Plus and it's a limited edition box set. 
Okay. It's hardcover. Hardcover, yeah. Okay. Um, And what was the dozen? You said uh, 1,200 is the yes. one you didn't see anything below? Right. Uh, I'm not going to go that low, obviously. I just wanted to remind myself. I'm going to say, I think I think this sounds good. I'm going to say 15,000. Okay, you give her too much credit. Estimated value eight to ten thousand. Wow, that's she. Yeah. Wow, she did this to starting herself. Starting at four, no I know, bids. I know. She, starting at four, no bids. Four, no <laughs> bids. Good, good. I know she doesn't see any of this money, but like she did this to herself. Oh yeah. I mean, um, think about that. Those other two things are just props. They're just right. They have no connection to a right. person except maybe skin cells. <laughs> that nobody is going to be able to see. Well, uh, the cool thing about the glasses is you could just buy lenses for those and just wear those. Yeah. If you wanted. No one would do that, <laughs> but like you could do that. <laughs> be very expensive. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I mean, they're, they've got to be the most iconic glasses in absolutely. fictional history. And right? that's why when somebody says, hey, can I see those? <laughs> and rips them off your face. And they're like, look, I'm Harry Potter. And then they drop on the ground. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I want to meet about the person that. who's bold enough to wear the glasses right. for real, <laughs> just around town, going to the DMV, wearing Harry Potter's glasses. I'll tell you their name. It's Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> what does he care? <laughs> um, he's not going to pay that much money for glasses he wore. No, he definitely has a pair kicking around. He oh yeah. If you're if you're a famous movie actor and you didn't steal a prop from the set, <laughs> like what are you even doing? Um, but yeah, th- think about that. That's how much. Her, yeah, like that's that's insane. That's that's how that's how little people care for her now. Yeah, that's and, crazy. And nobody even bid. <laughs> no, also that. Yeah, they they put up an amount that they thought would be appropriate for this item, and uh, a collective of people who always bid on this stuff was like, ah, it's too much. Yeah. <laughs> no, essentially, that's, uh, uh, that's saying something. Actually. I'm gonna do it. I'm. We're doing five because okay. this one kind of relates to the one we were just talking about. Okay. Just to put J.K. Rowling's into perspective. Yeah. Lot three hundred one. Star Wars: The Empire Strikes Back, nineteen eighty eight. Carrie Fisher's heavily annotated, leather bound fifth draft script. She I, she probably didn't even fucking sign it. Oh. It's just annotated by her. Oh, this is a big one. Yeah. Because she's. You gotta think too. She's passed away. She's passed away, and she passed away in good graces. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Um, because I feel like we we weren't all like ready when it came to Carrie Fisher. I feel like we weren't b- before Force Awakens. Yeah, I feel like we weren't like ah fuck her, but we were definitely like who who? Oh yeah, that's right. I guess that I know who that is. You know? Maybe I'm a freak. I've always known who she no, is. No, me too. I'm Am I saying. much louder than you? I'm so sorry. No, okay. I don't think so. Look, okay. this is me talking. Yeah, no, we're good. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Um, No, I mean just more so in the public eye. Okay, society as a whole. No, yeah, you and me are Star Wars fans. I just feel like if you said Carrie Fisher in the 80s, people would be like, oh, yeah, Princess Leia. But if right. you said her in like, if you said her name in like the 2000, 2010s, people would be like, I kind of recognize that name, I guess. Okay. But I see that. when she passed away, Star Wars was bigger than it had ever been, right. really. Um. So this is her script from which movie? The third one? Empire Strikes Back. Oh, the second Arguably one. Arguably everybody's favorite. Yeah, my favorite Not for mine. sure of the three. My yeah. favorite Star Wars movie is, of course, Force Awakens. But of the original three, my favorite's got to be uh, Empire for sure. You know, we did this with uh, another series last time. So I might, uh, my favorite is Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Um, yeah. Out of all of them. But uh, I forget what series we, we were doing these props and we mentioned Lord both of our Rings. favorites. It, well, okay, it, was it? Oh, maybe not. I don't remember talking about my favorite Lord of the Rings. I don't know. That's okay. Doesn't matter. Um. So, this is a script for the film. Script for the film. This is... The fifth draft, which means not final. Fifth draft. Oh, okay. So, I don't know much about movie production, but I can only assume that that means that there was multiple drafts of the script she got a copy of each one yeah and this is leather bound Th- this is uh heavily uh, no yeah leather bound fifth draft it, it's pretty pretty nice looking yeah um i can only s- it, they would say if she signed it 
I, I think she just it's heavily annotated. I I'm b- she wrote in it. Yeah, and they're not even going as far as to say she annotated it because true. I don't think they they cared to right look that far. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is one. So far, there hasn't been one that I mean. Obviously, none of them. I put pay this much money, but right. there really hasn't. Even the Jason stuff, there really hasn't been one that I've been like that would be really cool to have. But this one, you'd like this uh, one. I would. I would like this one. Yes. Um, no kidding. I, and I, think, I have been curious about that. Which one you would go for? It's just the the Friday the third. I know this doesn't matter to them. But the Friday the thirteenth shit was from the worst one. Yeah, that that makes a difference to you. To me, it does. No, it, I it get really that. Does um, definitely. Um. Uh. So I think that's gonna play into me saying seventy thousand. Ooh. Okay. Oh, that sounds like I was close. What is it? It's thirty to fifty. Oh. Okay. Uh. Damn. You really wanted it. Fucking all the answers were A. <laughs> Uh, estimated. Uh, I'm. I'm sorry. Starting at 15, current bid is 30. They're nice. already at 30. By the way, this is a couple weeks old at this right. point. So the, uh, the screenshot you're looking at, right? Yeah. 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 Um, three bids, and they're at 30. Nice. Okay. So the last one last for one. today, yeah. um, is the one that I want to put the opening bid for. <laughs> okay. Uh, that doesn't. Is that a little hint that it's sort of affordable? I'm not telling you okay, anything. Okay, okay. I am gonna ask what you. I, I'm. I want two answers from you. Okay. What franchise do you think this is from? That I want it. Well. And what? Hold on. Yeah. I don't know why I said hold on. The other one's obviously what's the price. <laughs> I want you to tell me what the price is. Why did I say hold on? Everybody knows know. the name of the game. Um, I'm gonna guess. I mean. It's got to be Star Wars or Muppets. What is it? Uh, it. Oh, I have to tell you. Yeah, first. you have to what, tell what me what is it is. What is wrong with yeah. me? Uh, lot four hundred four Vikings TV series. Oh, from two thousand thirteen to twenty twenty. Yeah, Bjorn Lothbrook's Alexander Ludwig's costume. So is that the main character? Uh, eventually, I don't want to spoil too much about right, that yeah. show. But, but this uh, is a. This is one of the. This isn't like a side character. No, this is this is one of the the big dogs. Does Vikings have an ensemble cast? It does. Okay. And the, he is. Uh, he one is. Of them. Yeah. Well, he's. I, I'm not going to spoil too much. He does become yeah. the main character more yeah. or less. Uh, he's also my favorite character. So I haven't seen Vikings. It is new, obviously newer than you know Harry Potter and Star Wars, but it's also his entire outfit. Entire outfit. Um. It's funny because me and Pauline were using this this exact outfit as a uh, reference in your book. Reference in our book okay. the week before I found this, and I was like, "Well, Pauline, what if I just bought it? <laughs> <laughs> what if I just bought it? Then we can look at it whenever we want." I'm going to play it safe and say uh, thirty to fifty thousand, like you... all the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Estimates seven to nine thousand dollars. Fuck off! <laughs> God damn it! Uh, starting at thirty five hundred. That's the first one that I'm like. That seems too low. That seems like a whole outfit would go for more. I don't yeah. care how old or new it is. It's a whole fucking outfit. Starting at three thousand five hundred dollars. But I guess are you are you in the minority? Did that show fail, or does it have a pop like a? It a has good... a popular enough following that Netflix. They ended last year. Netflix was like, "Fuck you, we're buying it, and we're gonna put out a new show." So it was this year. So the opposite of what I assumed. It was so good, in fact, that there's gonna be more of it, even though there wasn't supposed They're to be. They're making so Vikings, the original series that ended last year. Yeah, is about is done. Is done. It no, it it's done. Yeah, is about um famous, but not super famous Vikings. Right. Uh, Ragnar Lothbrok, Bjorn Ironside. They're real Vikings, but you don't know much about them. Yeah. This, uh, also, it's wildly... I I mean, like, it's not historically accurate. Didn't... Highly not historically accurate. Did one of those characters... I I recognize those names. Did one of those characters write one of the books? The, the, The Norse books? The Norse Bibles? Oh, I don't know. I mean... It's based on the show. It seemed like they had other shit going on in their yeah, life. Okay. I could be wrong though. Like I said, those are the 
not they are not based in reality. Right. I mean, ugh, it's hard. H- wildly historically inaccurate. That's which that's is, my thoughts on the show. Which is interesting because you usually hate shit like that. I well, the thing is, I don't know enough, so okay. th- it's not sitting there bugging me because I I hardly know anything about these characters in the right. first place. When they say lol Abraham Lincoln fought vampires, right. also vampires are real. I'm like. I'm sitting there like, I know what Abraham Lincoln did. Um, but s- By yes. the way, something that I totally forgot about that I was reminded of. You've seen that movie, right? No. Oh, okay. The the character, I'm going to spoil. The character who's like, you got to hunt vampires, but he turns out to be a vampire anyways. It's the guy who plays uh, young, young Tony Stark's dad in Captain America. Oh, okay. That's yeah. cool. Um. But yeah, I, I guess the reason I don't hate that, because you're right, I usually do hate that, is because I don't know enough. The new series takes place 100 years after a certain character's death in the original series, and it, Leif Erikson's going to be in it. Oh, okay. All the, all the Vikings that you have heard of are apparently going to be the characters of, of this new series. So I was totally wrong. The prose edda and the poetic edda are written by Snorri Sturluson. Okay. There's a book about Ragnar, which I am curious about, like the real one. Yeah, no, but the the Eddas are like the Bible, the Norse. Like, right, here's the right. history of the, the giants and all that yeah. stuff. Uh, I promise you, and you know, I don't think I've stared you wrong yet. Mm. I promise you, you are gonna love this show. Oh yeah, I'm 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 gonna watch it. I'm just I have I yeah, it's on the list for sure. No, it's definitely, like, it's like next up. I just. I have to finish Eva. Loki's happening. Lego Masters is happening. Yeah. Also, because of E3, I'm like two or three episodes behind on Flash, Superman, and Lois, and Legends of Tomorrow. Okay. So I got to get back into those somehow soon. If speaking of recommending stuff to one another, you need to watch Superman and Lois. It is yeah. really good. Okay. In Supergirl, th- they do this really cool thing where they make you think that this one character is someone else. He reveals his name, and me, you as a comic book fan, you're like, oh, I know who that is. And then cut to, like, nine episodes later, you find out who that character actually is, and it's like, League's cooler than the character was supposed to be. They basically did the same thing in season one of Superman and Lois, and but they kind of did it, like, the opposite, uh, which doesn't, you know, without spoiling anything, they make you think it's someone huge, but then it's someone smaller, and you're like, oh, I know who that is. Oh, wow. Um... It's really good. It's cool. really good. I, 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 oh, I like it a whole lot, and I think you would like it. But you know, seasons seasons not over yet. So if yeah. you wanted to wait until that happened, I, I think I'd probably do that. Yeah, wait and see. Yeah, because what the verdict is? They've got a weird licensing thing right now. Like episodes one through six are on HBO Max, but they're on like episode nine right now or some something oh, okay. like that. It it's weird. The, HBO DC is always weird about that. If you want to watch the entirety of Crisis on Infinite Earths, you need two streaming services. You need HBO oh. Max and uh, Netflix because well, Batwoman, same... Batwoman is on HBO Max and not Netflix. That's the same thing with Vikings right now. Vikings is on Hulu. Netflix right. has the Vikings Valhalla is the name of the next season. That's a good name. But if you like, ga- if you liked Game of Thrones, yeah, which I know you did forget the last season. I know you did. <laughs> I liked the last the last couple it, episodes. The last episode okay. was bad. Okay, I liked. I'll all I'll of get it behind until that. that. And you like Norse mythology? This is the show for you. I, yeah, I like Norse mythology, um, arguably more than I like most things nowadays. Yeah, I find it fascinating. Um, I obviously don't like believe in it. You know. Yeah. But, um, there's a this. Okay, not to get too crazy. This show made my mom question. Uh, her belief system. Jeez. <laughs> she was straight up like, so, because the whole show is like, Christianity's looming over you. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah. Um, and Christianity hit Norse and, like, you know, Egyptian, this, that, with a fucking ton of bricks. Oh, yeah. Like, over the course of, like, 20 year- years or something. Well, the, 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 not, again, not to give too much away, but, the show starts and uh, it's the Ragnar is the main character and he's like, I want to sail west because there's land and everybody's like, fuck you. <laughs> and England, he's not even talking about Americas, he's talking about England. Oh, okay. He's like, 
Because I'm assuming they're in Greenland. Norway. Ice, nor- oh, yes. Norway. Yeah, right, right. Um, but they've never even traveled that far away. Right. So he's the first one. They get to England. They co- The first thing they get to is a, a, a monkhood. Oh, okay. They slaughter everybody. Oh. And they're, they're in a room with a cross, and, you know, Jesus is on it, and they're like... Um, I think that's their God. And another one's like, well, what's he going to do? He's dead. <laughs> like, just like the thought process of right. like, oh, they really, they <laughs> think that their gods are living. Yeah. They're, they were like, who's he going to protect? He's dead. Right. That, that was their thing. I mean, in, in the, you know, in Norse mythology, they are. They are yeah. living. Yeah. They're, they're, you know. There's also Ragnarok. Those are two shows I think you'll love. Uh, Vikings, I I think you'll like a lot. I wonder lot. if uh, Vikings Ragnarok is just choosing that name because it's a Norse thing, or if they're actually gonna do Ragnarok, because Ragnarok is like the end. Oh, of Oh, in in the show, yeah. I I'm not gonna spoil anything, right. but I I think it, the way I it think the name is, is intentional. The way it works is you do one of the like five things that could trigger Ragnarok. It doesn't trigger right away. What starts is Fimble Winter, which is a seven-year-long winter, and then as soon as that ends, Ragnarok starts. And Ragnarok is like literally like the skies open up, hell comes from the yeah. top and the bottom, and and Fenrir has to like fight like 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 Jormungandr and Thor at the same time in yeah. two different timelines. Yeah, Jesus. The God of War is doing Ragnarok too. The next yeah. God of War is called Ragnarok, but it just got delayed to twenty twenty two. Um. But yeah, uh, even the Vikings themselves, it's cool to see them be like, "There's a new god." They when they hear about Jesus Christ, they're like, "A new god in the <laughs> Aesir." They are. They're yeah. like, uh, it, literally. There's one scene where uh, one of the, he's like, "I hope someday our gods can be friends." <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, no, it's, he should play Smite. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jesus, but, Jesus is the one character they said they would never do. Oh, really? Yeah, they said it's just. It's it's a little too on the nose because the game is about mythologies gotcha. and Christianity and Catholicism. The ones that believe in Jesus are kind of the only ones that are haven't transitioned from religion to mythology yet. Yeah, so they they felt a little weird doing it, and I understand that. But I would love to, if Jesus showed up in Smite. Um, that well, Jesus cool. shows up in other things. Yeah, I feel a, like it doesn't have to be a mythology or like on the well, verge of a myth Smite, being a mythology. Plus Smite. Does stuff outside of mythology all the time. They, they, there's three King Arthur characters now, and they're just from literature. They're not right. from any mytho- mythology, um, and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know. They're starting to do the weird ones. You know, Baba Yaga's in the game. Cthulhu is in the game. Yeah. Ba- uh, Baron Samedi is in the Cthulhu's game. Cthulhu's not even a real mythology, right? It's called. It's commonly referred to as the Cthulhu mythos. H.P. Lovecraft didn't intend to write a mythology, uh, but he had probably what could be considered the first cult following in history right. uh, that sort of took his words as gospel, um, which is fine. You know, that could happen with anything. Uh, it wasn't his intention, but it is technically a mythology now. It doesn't have an official name. Even in Smite, it's called the Cthulhu. No, in Smite, they call it the Old Ones. But okay. it's, it's commonly referred to as the Cthulhu mythos, which is a lazy... That's like if it was called the Jesus religion. Right, right. That's just the name of the guy and the word mythology, so... Anyways, we should stop podcasting because now we're at 54 minutes. Okay. Um, but thank you for listening. Uh, hey, if you are someone who uh, found this video without subscribing, thank you so much. Uh, and uh, that, uh, that we appreciate that. But if you would consider subscribing, we have uh, plenty of different videos. Yes. We have other podcasts about movies and video games. We have uh, Let's Plays, normal Let's Play stuff. We have live streams over at Twitch, the uh That'll be in the description uh, below, and we have skits that like more. Uh, uh, what's the word? Scripted stuff like skits, yeah. and video essays, yeah. and stuff. So there's a, there, we have. A, we oh, have we a got lot a lot of stuff. We have a lot to offer. So if you like the sound of our voice and you don't want it to go away, uh, consider subscribing. And yeah, that would mean a lot to us. That was me trying to make my voice sound as stupid as possible. <laughs> oh, if you like the sound of our voice, here here it is for real for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a fucking yeah, um, yeah. So that'll do it for us. Uh, okay, so we're doing this differently now. Uh, I don't have to say the theme song, right? No. Okay. Then you we're don't have to tell them where to find us. Right. Right. Uh, 
then I think what I say is I've been Thunder. I'm Lightning. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening and watching. And if you like what you see, please be sure to subscribe. Our channel is daily uploads from podcasts to video essays, let's plays to skip. Be sure to find us on Twitch and Patreon. Our theme song is Sunny Day by Froggy and the Friendship. And our let's play intro is Sunny Bit by the same band. Link to all these in the description below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.